Yes, my viewers and my subscriber. It is your boy Bonnie again. Coming to have another little talk with you, my viewers and subscriber. But also, as I said, if it's your first time on the channel, don't forget to like and share, comment and subscribe. And also, tell a friend to tell a friend to go and check out Bonnie7UK. And also, my, my Jive channel, Jive Bunny UK. Go and check out the channel as well. And uh, subscribe if you like the contents over there. Jive Bunny UK. Okay, my viewers and subscribers, what am I talking about today? I'm going back in my old days. There's a place in Jamaica called South Camp Road, Kingston, Jamaica. South Camp Road. There's a lot. Of lots of lots of memory and South Camp Road. So I want to take you back, my viewers. South Camp Road, downtown Kingston to Crossroad Square. Yes, I am well, well benign on that route back in the days. South Camp Road. I used to be conductor and the little VW minibus and transit minibus and South Camp Road. Yeah, this this bring back a lot of memory to me. When I say it bring back a lot of memory, this bring back a lot of memory to me because I used to live at Arnold Road. Yeah, I used to live at Arnold Road, at South Camp Road, and I used to conduct on the Transit van them and the VW van them that run minibus and South Camp Road. I used to, there's a guy I used to call Zan. Yeah, Zan. I can't remember all of them names now, but I remember Zan. And um, I'm trying to remember what the name them, man. The name them gone out of my head at the moment. Anyway, I used to drive for some of these, call it some of these guys' bus. And I can't even find them for I think probably about a year to a year and something. But by then I could drive good. You know, cause my auntie used to have some transit van running the road as well. And I used to teeth with the van them at night time and go and practice to drive them. So nobody never teach me to drive. I actually teach myself to drive. So what happened? I remember one night I after my cousin parked up the van. Them time they, you could take anything to start them van them and you put anything on the key switch and turn them and then transit van and then start. Four wheeler transit then start. So at night I might take them and drive them around the block. Practice myself to drive when they must sleep. Practice myself to drive. So I become this person who could drive good. So I was collecting on these bus man and he's like my cousin, husband, man in town road around good man and six wheeler transit. My cousin wanna go have lunch, but he wrote go have breakfast, he wrote around good. So my cousin just give me a conductor. And I'll tell you, them time we were mad. I jumped in this transit van from Cross Road. All the way downtown. Full of passenger, pick up and I stop up. No license, you know. No license. Me have conductor. Collect like, and me a drive bus I go down. No license. Go out town, come back. By the time I come back, my driver having lunch, the breakfast, and come back. Me take back my place, get the guy a little change, the doctor a little change in my hand, and we start work again. And me, I tell you so, me do that for quite a while. Drive VW, drive transit, one on the road, up and down, no license. Me, I care police, me, I care soldier, because. The, the, the police camp is half South Camp Road. The soldier camp is half South Camp Road. The gun court is half South Camp Road. So it's a busy road like that. <coughs> My viewers and subscribers. All this time I do that, you know. Police never stop me. Never get in trouble. And you know what happened? The same day, me get my license. Me get a job. To drive a transit van. Four wheel a transit van for a man. 
and we have got somewhere. Can't remember where we was going the day. Police pull me over. Pull me over. Luckily, me have my license in that time. So, from there so now, I become a professional driver now. We start to drive a different, different man from South Camp Road. You have a soldier man, you have a policeman. Yeah, man, call them policemen or, 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 up there. They have them, um, they have them minibus on the road as well. Now, policemen have the minibus on the road as well. Now, them days there was nice, man. Them days there was nice. So, yeah, them days there was nice. So, South Camp Road, Cross Road to downtown Kingston. That was one of my main, main, main bus routes in the days them back. If you, my viewers, out here anywhere, you're there, and you remember them days that when we are on VW and transit van from South Camp Road, Cross Road to downtown, downtown to Cross Road, and you can remember Hulk. Yes, that's, that was my name in them days there. You know. Nobody know me as Bunny in them days there. You know. As Strictly Hulk. As Strictly Hulk. They call me them days there, man. So, Cross Road, South Camp Road, Cross Road. When we come across the road and we see them up there. It's like, what happened? You are not the driver. The driver come and park the bus and we're in a queue. So, you're like, you have like seven, eight bus lined up behind one of that Cross Road Square. Wait for get low because you have a load that's going to you come. And it's like, you as the conductor, because you can't look at driving, you quickly quick sit down, sit down around the steering. So as soon as one bus load and move up, you drop the other one. As soon as one bus move, you drop the other one. And that's so we get when we go practice. That's so we get when we go practice before we get licensed. And then when we get licensed. So as soon as the bus full, doctor jump out and driver jump in and we're gone. But sometimes, may I tell you my viewers, we have some man just come on the side, pull up on the side. And passenger just run out and gone a few bus because what? Well, and like them more. But let me tell you something, my view. I have a cousin. Serious. This is serious, serious stuff now. I have a cousin that died. He was a driver. And him and another driver have an argument up across the square there. And I don't know what the argument was about. The other driver park up a bus. My cousin, if anybody remember Harris. Harris was my cousin. Yes. Harris was my cousin. The guy and Harris had some argument. Harris left and gone down to the film bus. The guy parked up the film bus and wait for Harris. Then Harris got down and come back. And he started up an argument with Harris. And he stabbed Harris with an ice brick. But it's like Harris never realized he didn't get the stab. Harris drive from town, from Crossroad to downtown, and back up. And then when he realized that I feel pain, when they rushed him to the hospital, Iris was bleeding from the inside. He had been terrible bleeding. Iris died from the stab that the guy stabbed him. Over some stupid little argument. You know, sometimes I tell them, my, my brothers and sisters, sometimes I tell them, we need to walk away from some stupid argument. Yes, sometimes we need to walk away from some stupid, stupid argument. Because... This stupid argument that we have with people where we think, say, you know something? We're going to get somewhere with it. No, it costs our life. Because if, if it, then it just walk away from this stupid argument, as a matter of fact, Iris walk away from this argument, to be honest and truthfully. Iris walk away because he left and go away. And the guy wait on him until he come back and stab him. So my persistent brother, I want to encourage you. If you have somebody have something, you know, simple, simple something. Say, say sorry. Just say sorry. Even when you know, say you're right. Just say sorry and walk it out. You know, by saying sorry and walk away, it don't make we no less, less a person. It don't make we no less a man. Because, you know, the way this world is going, why I'm telling you, we live in a, a mad, mad world. The only solution to this madness that's going on right now is Jesus Christ. Because I'm telling you, my sisters and brothers, without Jesus in our life, we are waste. Without Jesus in our life, we are waste. Because I'm telling you, we might be walking the street, acting simple, 
But let me tell you something. Somebody upset us. And because we don't have that love in our heart, we just pick up that age, that anger. Because when the hunger are coming up, you know something, let me tell you something. Even when you have Jesus Christ in you, the devil still try to put things into you. Ignorance, blindness. But you know something? Once you have the Holy Spirit in you, even when the devil force you to do something, the Spirit said no. Because there's a force out there. Before, there's a force. The devil and the Spirit. So you know the devil tells you to do something. Do something. But the Spirit said no, don't do it. The devil said do it. And the Spirit said there's a fight in you. There's a fight in you. It's the spiritual minded and the fleshly minded which is carnal telling you go and thief. Go and have a um, sexual relationship with another woman. Go and murder somebody. You know, the devil, the devil is always there trying to put things in our head. I don't even know why I'm going down this road, but I'm going to come to talk about Jamaica, Good Days, and South Camp Road. Yeah, man. That there was a good days. Big up to every person who used to have a stall up a South Camp Road Square, up a Cross Road Square. Big up to your Jason, all the people them who used to sell up a South Camp, up a Cross Road Square. Big up to you. Big up to you. Every person who used to have a, a stall outside with 15 bus them park up, South Camp Road. This is Hulk. Hulk. Yeah, this is Hulk. Big up, big up, big up to you. Yeah, man. Zan, Bastan. Yeah, Zan and Bastan. Yeah. I remember them name the man. Yeah, so, you want to come here for just big up some of the, 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 the whole time 15 bus driver and conductor them. Laxley, I guess a Laxley passed away and gone. Yeah, quite a few. Robert. Yeah. Yeah, man, a few guys, if, if any of you are out there watching this video, I remember any Pablo. Yeah, man, Pablo used to be my bridging. Pablo used to be my bridging to drive 15 bus. Yeah. If any of you may remember when the first um, quarter million come across the road, Pablo was the driver. Pa Pablo was driving the one of the first bigger bus come up there. Yeah. So as I said, I'm just here to big up some of the people them where we used to work together with and South Camp Road when we used to run 15 bus. I know the government took over now and the different different things now, but I want to say big up to all the whole conductors and all the whole drivers and even the taxi driver them who used to run from Cross Road to Children's Hospital. Big up to you lot as well. Yeah, man. Big up to you as well. I can't forget you know. We used to rap together. And sometimes we used to run few trips on the taxi stand as well from Crash with the children's hospital. Yeah. So, you know, as a whole time man in the, in the business will come out of it. I don't know if any person out there who can remember anything about what I'm talking about. Big up, big up, big up, big up to you. Peace and love, man. All days. Old time, old talk. Give me a link. If any of you remember anything about this talk, what I'm talking about, in the comment section, touch me. Touch me. I don't remember. I don't forget. Old days, old time, old friend. One love is a boy bunny. Otherwise known as Hulk. Yes, Hulk. Do you remember Hulk? Yeah, them call me Hulk. Why? Because I was a trapped in stubborn, stubborn guy. Peace and love. Thank you for following me. If you follow me so far in this video. But remember, if you know anything about South Camp Road bus route in the days when we was running VW and Transit bus carry passenger up and down South Camp Road, link me in another thing. This is Hulk. Peace and love. I'm out.